he came home from work one day and, and said that he had been hearing voices and seeing creatures on the top of buildings that were following him. Despite the shock of their son's reality, Laura and Todd Crooks reacted quickly, getting their son Chad to a hospital. Doctors believed his hallucinations were being caused by ADHD medication. And then one night, he um, had a total psychotic break and became suicidal and wanted to jump off the bridge behind our house. Um, and luckily, he told us that. Back in the hospital and after a second psychotic break, Chad was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He was worried that any time he had something to say, it would be discounted because he had a mental illness. For Chad, his diagnosis was overwhelming. And after months of trial and error on different medications, he lost hope. Um, at the end, he left us a note that he said he felt like it was starting to take over his mind. And he didn't want that to happen. He didn't want it to not be him, and so he gave up. Chad died by suicide on January 21st, 2016. It wasn't because of lack of love. It was because we didn't know how to help him with his mental illness. Todd and Laura are pouring their pain into advocacy. They've created a project called Chad's Legacy dedicated to treating mental health. One of their missions is to spread the word on mental health first aid. The underlying idea of mental health first aid is to help connect with somebody that's in a, a crisis. Mental health first aid is a research-based movement with classes being taught nationally. The eight-hour course teaches people to assess the level of danger, listen, and give support. It also teaches you a little bit about what they're going through so you can understand what these diagnoses are. The movement has been so successful, King County has set aside $400,000 to implement a program in Seattle, giving training to nurses and teachers, offering classes to the community. We will come into contact with many people who have mental health issues, and so mental health first aid should be just as prevalent as CPR. Because just like CPR, knowing first aid for mental health can save a life. For me, the dream really is that um, no other mother would lose her child ever because of a mental health issue. Mental health first aid courses are being offered nationwide for first responders to anyone like you and me. For more information on how to get involved, we've got a link on our website, king5.com. For HealthLink, I'm Amatia Drisi.